I've been trying to tell y'all. I've been trying to tell y'all. I don't gatekeep. I don't gatekeep at all. So, if you want to know how to get the book for the low, a little or nothing, add me on IG. Yeah. Any of them. This your first time coming up, my. I was just playing, man. What's good, YouTube? You already starting off wrong. Straight up. But what's good, YouTube? I'm Armstead, and welcome back to another video. Guess what? Y'all already know what time it is. It's book club time. You get what I'm saying? So look, I'm gonna start this off by saying this. If you don't know what's going on, subscribe to the channel. Because on this channel, I do book reviews, book club. I let y'all put y'all comments down in the bottom. Tell me if y'all think what's going on, you know, all that good stuff. So, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Now, if you want to follow along, right, guess what? I'm not going to gatekeep. On this channel, I don't gatekeep nothing. So, if you want this book, right, I'm going to tell you what you do. I don't suppose to be saying this out loud. Better yet, I'm not gonna say it. I'ma make I'ma make y'all come look for it. To follow along with this book, right? Follow me on Instagram at Armstead World. You know, I'ma put the link at the bottom, like right here, or put the name. DM me the murder game, and I'ma show y'all and I'ma tell y'all how to get it. Quick and easy. It ain't, it's not even gonna take five minutes for y'all. Not even five. It's not gonna take three minutes for y'all to get it. But anyway, man, I'm gonna give y'all a book vlog today. Um, as I read the book, um, I'm just giving y'all my reaction. So yeah, this video, y'all know how to do it. It's gonna be all over the place, all over the house, all over the crib. I might even go outside. Who knows? But yeah, man, we're gonna get straight to the video. All right, um, I gotta find something to call y'all. I don't like this bit. I'm gonna think of something, but. Uh, I, uh, y'all, so, last place I stopped off where uh, was, dude left his ID the night prior to them finding out he was in the woods. Well, him and his homies and friends was in the woods, and he left his ID in the woods. Prior to, <clears throat> they find out that the Dean wife was killed and murdered in the woods, so, I don't know what's gonna happen next. I don't know if they finna go and try and get the idea or what, but <laughs> we just gonna go along with the, uh, we just gonna go along with it. And I'ma uh, hit y'all back up when I get a little bit more insight. I'm not gonna lie. Oscar is starting to like, really, Oscar is really starting to like, make me mad, like very angry. Cause what you playing for? They sitting up here trying to think of a game plan, this, that, and the third, or what they not gonna do, and you sitting up here playing. Like, you playing the piano in the middle of the conversation, scaring folks, making folks jump. Oh my god. They just, <laughs> it's a time to play this time, not to play. And him just, he just taking it serious. And I'm starting to think, me personally, that he had something to do with it. Cause the second they was talking about it, it was a guy up there talking like weird. He kinda like, Brush it off like nah, we should do that like nah, we don't even got information on that I don't know you just make yourself seem like real suspect you get what I'm saying like you making it seem like you was the person up there Talking to uh the Dean's wife like y'all had some going on which I could I'm, I'm not surprised Because he got like this little whole bad boy thing going on and you know Yeah They, they should have just jumped him in the room like no cap like Cause what you playing for? What you, this ain't nothing. You think this a game? You think this is fun? We don't do this for fun. 
<laughs> man, for real, man. I would have got mad, man. Yeah, man. I'm finna keep reading. I'm finna keep reading. I ain't even gonna count. <laughs> Read to the six, so I'm not giving me like screen vibes. Like all the news reporters pulling up to the school. You got people outside on the yard trying to interview folks. Like that the vibe I'm getting from Chuck the six. Like it's already starting off. Like all right, who killed? Who killed this, this lady? Like, bruh, <laughs> it's how they sit. Like they they set the mood for this book real good for this murder mystery. Like. No hell, and I can see me now. Oh, well, I think what you call did. I'm all in the interviews trying to get my screen. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll be all up on the TV. Well, yes, um, I was in my room, but rumor has it that um, Jonathan down um, from building 506, they say he wasn't in his room, and legend has it. That he was messing around with the dean's wife. So if you ask me, y'all need to go interview Jun Jun. Oh, and by the way, make sure y'all follow me on YouTube. <laughs> I'll be getting my playtime, my screen time in yeah, no count. <laughs> so y'all, this is funny to me, my man. But so <sighs> everyone crowded around on this like this part of the Am I tripping? Yeah, but everyone crowded around in this part of the book or whatever. And so it's students like hollering and screaming and pointing. So I'm like, what, what? So they pull up over there, whatever. Uh, Luke and his homie, Oscar. So they pull up over there and they think. So me personally, I think Oscar got scared because he thought it was his ID that they was pointing at. But yeah, it wasn't his ID, thankfully. But. They pointing, they pointing, pointing or whatever, and they finally see what everybody was pointing, and it was a red lace bra. <laughs> she was a freak. <laughs> no, I'll just play, I'll just play it. No, that, that wasn't the case, but she was basically the lady. They think it's the lady who was missing, and what they trying to say now is there's an old like um. Not a rumor, but a old like saying that they had this town's strangler, and what he would do or she, because they don't know who it is, it's a myth. But what he or she would do is they would get whoever female they're gonna get, strip them naked, and then choke them. And that's who they're trying. That's who the city is trying to put the blame on for the dean's wife killer. But me personally, I'm not going for that. This is just something to throw you out there. It ain't the killer. Me personally, I feel like one of them is feel like it's one of them boys or somebody in this school. That's my honest opinion for right now. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. Ain't no way Pippa would have came to me to mouth. Oh, that's a compliment. I just ain't I ain't got no trust, you know. Baby, let's be vulnerable to get up. Oh, me either. I ain't got no trust. See, let's not. How about we just don't trust each other together? And let's just, you know. It's okay, look. Reach for the handshake, got a hug. <laughs> ain't gonna count, bro. My boy Lou kind of smooth with it now. I thought he was gonna try to do a little something with it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna plant a little kiss on the forehead. Y'all know how these Mr. Books get. They, they Mr. Books, they get to the point where rule number one, no sex. The, the second you have sex, that's when you dead next. I had to get up now. So, I had TikTok. So, this, 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 not TikTok. I keep saying TikTok because I'm always making books. All right, book two. That's what I'm gonna call y'all. All right, book two. So, this is going on. Oscar and Luke's our best friends, okay? So they just so happen to get Luke up out of like the little cafeteria wherever they were and they questioned him. Okay. Luke already nervous, like fingers throwing up gang signs. <laughs> fingers throwing up gang signs to the side. You get what I'm saying? But so they questioned him, right? They were like, 
you know, where were you the night of, you know, the murder, and this, that, and the third, woo, woo. Luke being calm, he's like, I was at the crib. He's like, okay, cool. The police officers and the dean, you know, they was like, okay, cool. So, they went on here to say like, hey, um, what about your roommate? He's like, yeah, I think he was at the crib too. Like, we were just chilling, you know. I was asleep, you know, but I'm pretty sure Basically that he was covering for his homeboy because we all know they everybody was outside The two dudes Luke and Oscar and Pippa and the other girl was outside in the woods and they was murdered But anyway, that's besides the point He covered him like yeah, we was at the crib, you know that I would lose so he was like um When you're a good student trying to play this tactic of you're a good person, you know this and the third So basically they was trying to get my boy Luke to snitch on Oscar they just went on ahead and flat out told him like, hey, like, Oscar ID was at the crime scene and we found Oscar's scarf around his white neck. What you mean the scarf is around her neck? Wait, so is Oscar's scarf and his name is in the scarf. So you got a double whammy on you. And we not even talking about how you live to go see what was going on. Oscar. Oscar Meyer Wiener. We ain't gonna talk about this. <laughs> Oscar Meyer Wiener. We ain't gonna talk about this. I don't know, like. The book is good, like I'm not even gonna care. I know for a fact Oscar didn't kill her. Like I, I'm not even finna. I'm not even gonna like. That is that is not even on my list. But Oscar, you are already on your last strike, and it ain't looking too hot for you, my boy. <laughs> it ain't looking too hot for you, Luke. All I'ma tell you is you in this seat. You better hold tight. You better not snitch. You better not say nothing. You better. You better be a real homie, a real ride or die, and don't say nothing. Cause if you do, you ain't a real, my boy. You ain't real. I ain't gonna lie. Look, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all. This, this is a book, my boy. This gold, like, I love a good murder mystery. Too. I'm gonna say this, though. They trying to pin it. On Oscar, but I know Oscar ain't do it, man. I know now the odds is in his favor, don't get me wrong. Like his ID was there, the scar from um uh Oscar scar was around the lady who was dead, but it wasn't mark my words, and I'ma say this, and y'all heard this from me. It wasn't him, you know, it wasn't. Oscar. I, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the Dean. I would not be surprised if, if it was the Dean. Now this ain't got nothing to do with the book, but I need to take a break. So. And if you ain't already, subscribe to the channel. I ain't gonna cap, I'm gonna work out. So I gotta get my protein in. How y'all liking it so far, man? Like, y'all liking this content I'm pushing out? So. I've been trying to tell y'all, I've been trying to tell y'all, I don't gatekeep. I don't gatekeep at all. So, if you want to know how to get the book for the low, a little or nothing, add me on IG. Yeah. Any of them. All right, YouTube, so this is what get real. All right. Chapter 8 shows basic it don't show but it tells who is out there in the woods you know i told you like on the last uh video that someone was watching them but chapter eight tells who was out there watching them and the person that was out there watching them was a faculty member and basically he's like this survival he's like a survival coach for the people in the school not a lot of people go to him and they think he's like kind of weird or whatever but he was out there watching him, and he basically told Luke, like, hey, I saw you out there. 
I would say you ain't seen me. <laughs> See, you ain't seen me. You seen somebody that looked like me. I was in my bed. But anyway, flip side. But he basically told him like, hey, you was out there, right? And I was out there. And yeah, so you know more than you think you know. Basically, he's putting like, he making it seem like you know who killed the uh, Dean's wife. But they really don't know. Well, Luke really don't know. And the Dean is like, well, the police will never catch who is basically then killed because they're on the wrong path. And Luke was like, what do you mean? He was like, they will never find it because they're, they're thinking of it the wrong way. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Like Luke is kind of freaked out that the faculty, you know, is trying to talk to him. Like for one, they met in the woods. Like during the daytime, they meet in the woods. Luke ain't had no business being down there again. I have a knot on my leg, bro. Luke basically saying Luke ain't had no business down there again, and he was in the woods, and that's when he saw the faculty member or whatever. And like I said, that's when they had that whole conversation or whatever. And me personally, I don't, I don't know what to think now. I don't know who killed the Dean's wife no more. Like I'm confused. This book threw me for a loop. Like how do I supposed to know who killed? Like. The person who was out there is the staff member. You have Pipple, you have Kelsey, you have Luke, you have, I'm almost getting good with the names. I know y'all see it. Luke, and then you have Oscar Meyer Wiener. <laughs> that ain't this man name, but yeah. Um, I don't know who killed. Now me personally, I'm starting to feel like Oscar did. Like I'm kind of going back, like, cause the odds really in do favor, like, then they found like something in the trash can that relates to him talking to the Dean's wife and they were supposed to meet up or something. It's weird, bro. Like, um, so like I said, now I'm going to Oscar. Oscar Meyer Wiener, you're hit. You are hit. But I'm gonna read one more chapter and it's gonna be about it. So I see y'all. When I read chapter 10. Book two. I'm back. And I'm finna finish this video out with chapter nine. So I said chapter 10, but I just read chapter nine. So you know what I'm trying to say. But look, so basically, in so many words, what I got from chapter nine was but yeah, basically what I got for chapter nine was Luke, okay, Luke is panicking. Like he he's nervous, he's shaking out of his boots. It's like the book is based on not the book but this last few chapters the book has been based on luke and luke is just flabbergasted he don't know what to do he's not trusting his friends he's not trusting oscar he don't trust pippa pippa so he did research on pippa because pippa was like a transfer student and she has no information on her she has no no nothing on her and he's trying to find out you know what the wood is on her. so he's googling stuff trying to think about something she said to see who she is because she's like hard to find on social media she's not hard she's hard to find on google but anyway he somehow managed to find her when he find her he finds out that she was accused of murder of her best friend so you already know how they go he already thinking that guess what she could be a suspect of killing the dean's wife because need i remind you when they was in the woods at night she already left like she had already left um to go to the bathroom her and her friend and she left her friend out by herself and she came back after her friend had already came back so there was enough time to put her in the timing of killing somebody that's enough of that and uh yeah so now luke after that is over with um someone was following him in the lobby like after the lights were getting cut off he was walking out he seen somebody playing with like turning on the switches uh in the library and he already spooked about that so as he get out the uh library or whatever and he goes out we find out who was playing with him which is his homeboy his homeboy was like yeah man i'm just joking it's just a joke uh yeah there's so many cases and now he's telling luke 
the rumors that we hearing around school. Like he keeping them, he keeping it a bean. Hey, I'm finna tell you what I heard. Like this, this word around the campfire. I ain't trying to be messy, but I'm finna tell you what's going on. Like he giving them the scoop. And basically what it is, the scoop is the teacher, well the dean's wife was messing around with students. Then I tell you guys. I told y'all this. Y'all gonna learn to listen to me. Y'all gonna learn to listen to me. Cause I said she messed around with students. And she was a freak, she was a freak. She was a freak like Monique, Christina, Mella. <laughs> but yeah, man. And now they got Luke thinking, okay. Maybe he did kill her for certain reasons because he was already one foot out the door and she was the reason why he was almost one foot out the door. He was one foot in the school, one foot out. One foot from getting expelled and you out of dress code wrong and you out of here. But And it just gave Luke the suspicion that, hey, maybe it could be Oscar who killed her. Who knows? But I don't know. I still don't. I don't know if Oscar killed her or what. I don't know. I just I can't. I don't know. This this is a good mur uh, murder mystery read. I can't like I can't even predict who killed the dean's wife. Like I can't. Like I'm gonna keep it a bean. I can't. But stay tuned. And by the way, so I'm gonna make I'm I'm getting better at this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read ten chapters. Then I'm gonna do a review on it. You get what I'm saying? That way I won't stop. Go stop. Go stop. Go. Or do y'all like the reading vlogs? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what how y'all really like this. You get what I'm saying? But I'm out of here, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, turn that post notification bell on, and follow me on TikTok. Cause that's where y'all gonna get y'all updates from. Yeah. But uh, I'm out of here, man. I gotta go work out. Have a good Sunday, and I'm out.